A FITS file, or a Flexible Image Transport System file, um, is one kind of digital file which can store images, data cubes and tables. Um, and it's incredibly common in use in astronomy. In fact, I would say it's the standard file system uh, for astronomy. As well as holding the pixel values for an image, which is what you would get in something like a JPEG or a PNG that you might be more familiar with, a FITS file will have something called a header, um, which will have a bunch of metadata about um, what the image is taken of, where it was. It can, you can have things like coordinate systems put into that, um, exposure times, all kinds of information. Um, and so in this class, we'll learn how to interact with FITS files um, using some custom software and just how to interact with it in Python. Um, so this is a color by numbers grid. Um, and here you've probably seen this kind of thing before, right? You color in each number based on, on a color of a, of a coloring pencil. Um, in a FITS file, the grid is still just numbers. Um, they're not just necessarily integers. Although I guess they are actually integers when you first take them off the telescope because they're literally going to be counts of electrons that have been um, recorded by each pixel. Um, so in the CCD characterization assignment, we're going um, to learn how we then would calibrate those and turn those into um, you know, real measurements of the flux that you're measuring, the, the number of photons that you're measuring. Um, for this first project, for the um, Just Make a Colour Image, we're just not going to worry about any of that calibration. We're just literally going to use the electron counts um, directly um, to get our colour image. And then just to end up, I mentioned this at the beginning, but FITS file isn't just images. Um, astro astronomical data can have three dimensions. So you can have your um, X and Y for your image. And then you can also have this spectral dimension. Um, so FITS files can hold these kind of data cubes. You can also have multi extensions. Um, so there'll be like an overall header in a multi extension FITS file, and then there'll be like subheaders. So for example, you can have multiple images of the same thing held in the same FITS file, or you can have a table of data plus an image. Um, they're really flexible, um, which I think is why astronomers like them. Anyway, so get used to FITS files. We're going to be using them a lot in this class.